Good morning. Today we're going to look at a demonstration involving an electric circuit. Here we have a multimeter that is set to record current. It is measuring the current leaving the battery. Because this is a series circuit, it's effectively measuring the current through the entire circuit. Let's see what happens to current when I connect this wire in the circuit. So I'm connecting the wire now. Hmm. Clearly, the current has risen. So prior to connecting the wire, the current was 0.26 amps. This was the current traveling throughout this entire circuit, the current that was leaving the battery. After connecting the wire, the current increased to 0.34 amps. So the question is, why does current increase when the wire is connected? Well, let's look at the path electricity takes. This is effectively the path that current takes for this particular circuit. It goes through the multimeter and then it goes through the two loads. The two loads have been circled. They are the light bulbs. Now let's see what happens when I connect the wire. How does the path change? Well, the previous path is incorrect. So we're going to put a big X through that path. That's not the way electricity is flowing now. This is the correct path now. Notice that the path has bypassed the light bulb. So how do we know that the path effectively has bypassed the light bulb? Well, notice what happens to the light bulb. Let's take a look at the video one more time. We're going to connect the wire. And the light has disappeared. It's like the light bulb has been turned off by connecting a wire. So how do we know this path is correct? Well, the light bulb has effectively turned off. So the question is, why does electricity bypass the second bulb? Remember, electricity always takes the path of least resistance. The wire has less resistance than the light bulb. And so we have a situation where there is only one load. And so comparing these two situations, when the wire is not connected, the circuit has two loads. When the wire is connected, effectively we only have one load. Because there's one less load, that means there's less resistance in the circuit. And that's the reason why we have more current. I also want you to notice what happens to the other light bulb. Let's watch the video one more time. So I'm going to connect the wire. And the other light bulb, the light bulb that's circled, has gotten brighter. And so the question is, why has it gotten brighter? Well, we know there's greater current. There's also greater voltage. The voltage is not shared between two loads now. It's only going to one load. And so if you have greater current and greater voltage, you have greater power. Hence, the light bulb is brighter. Now we're going to do another demonstration, but this time, instead of using a wire, we're going to use a multimeter. We're going to set the multimeter to measure current. Notice, in fact, that both multimeters are set to the exact same settings, measuring current. So effectively, we are going to try to measure current in parallel instead of in series. Please note, current is supposed to be measured in series. The multimeter in the diagram that is showing 0.25 amps is in series with the circuit. Now why are we doing this? Well, this is a common error that I've seen people make. 
Instead of using the multimeter and placing it in series with the circuit, people will sometimes place it in parallel. They're going to do what I'm about to do in this video. So the question is this, what happens when current is measured in parallel instead of in series? This is a mistake that people sometimes make. Let's see what happens. Please focus your attention on the three circles that I have outlined in the video. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting results. For starters, the current has increased. It went from about 0.25 amps to 0.34 amps. In addition, the light bulb went off. And the other light bulb, as you can see in the diagram, got brighter. This is the exact same experiment I just showed you except we've replaced the wire with the multimeter. By design, a multimeter has almost zero resistance when measuring current. So effectively, the multimeter is behaving the exact same way a wire would behave. So if this ever happens to you in a circuit, where you're getting a result that doesn't make sense. In this case, you're going to measure something and one light bulb gets brighter and the other light bulb turns off, chances are you've made a mistake. Remember, current always has to be measured in series, not in parallel. The last question I have for you is this. Look very carefully at the current. One of the readings is 0.34 amps. That's the current that is leaving the battery. And yet, when we've hooked up the second multimeter, it only reads 0.30 amps. Remember, the multimeter is hooked up in parallel with the light bulb. So here's my question for you. Where is the missing 0.04 amps? Why is that second multimeter not reading 0.34. Hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.